I have a right to say I like Donald Trump. I think he would make a good president. One of Trump's biggest supporters, Michael Ricardo, is facing the heat after his plan to catch the thief who stole the Trump sign from his lawn backfired. Michael, who lives in Kew Gardens, New York, had installed a surveillance system to catch the thief as he was stealing the Trump sign and had the idea to put that picture onto flyers and staple those flyers on trees all around his neighborhood. Well, then neighbors complained and the New York Parts Department investigated and they assessed the damage to the trees to be at $40,000. Here's a statement that I got from the Parks Department. Damaging trees is against New York City park rules. Destroying a tree's protective layers, bark, and the inner skin can expose its sap. The tree's lifeblood to parasites and fungus, which can have harmful long-term effects, including death. I tried to speak to Michael ever since he got this assessment of $40,000 in damages. This time he did not want to go on camera and sent me this statement. I have heard nothing from any government agencies. Since there may be litigation pending, I think it inappropriate for me to further comment. When I spoke to Michael before about the flyers, he said that he believes the neighbors were mad at him because they wanted to stifle his free speech and were upset that he was a Trump supporter. I spoke to Tia, who's a neighbor and a board member of the Kew Gardens Civic Association, and she said that Michael's reaction to getting his Trump sign stolen went overboard. It was just very over the top. Um, it, it didn't come across as, I think, very sympathetic to a lot of people in the community. And then to see a thousand of them, I think, is really different than seeing four or five signs for your beloved family pet that's gone missing. Also, when I was speaking to Tia, we walked by Michael's home and there's a, a post office box right there. Uh, sorry, the po post office, um, sorry, I'm sorry, Bill, what do you call it? Where they put the mail, I guess the post office, Drop but not box, just the a box. box uh... Yeah, but not the one in front of your door, like the big one like for the, the whole neighborhood. The blue mailbox. Yeah, the blue mailbox, right, right. Yeah. As I was walking by Michael's home with Tia, the blue, post office mailbox was spray painted white Trump. It's unfortunate that now the city is gonna have to clean that up too. So the $40,000 in damages, that is just an assessment. It's not actually a fine. The New York City Parks Department has not decided whether or not they're gonna find Michael. So Tia hopes that they do find him and for the full amount. $40,000, like I think the Parks Department needs to look into uh, how much they're paying for trees. My God. A tree has to withstand 25% of its coverage being damaged before anything happens to that tree. One staple is not going to kill a tree. I looked at the trees and the damage. It wasn't just one staple. They were like four or five on one side, four or five on the other side. I mean, it was like, you know, bombardment of staples on those trees. Thank you, Sabil.